<laughs> Even camera oh, is moving. <laughs> Baru, do you recognize the place? Yes. For everybody who can see, that was my building. Tavina complex. I used to stay on the top floor over there. <laughs> I do miss it, but our parties, our times, our lockdown. Oh, everything. Yeah, during the lockdown, we were here. Witam wszystkich. Witam wszystkich. Hi. Welcome everybody. We are in the restaurant. We're gonna we are, dine. We are in Muscat, my one of favorite places that I've been to ever in my life. And this is one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Beit Al Luban. And we're sitting on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> traditional style, sitting on the floor. In some time, I'm gonna show you the traditional Omani dishes that are there over here. But before that, you have to say, how do you feel in Muscat after two years I and a feel, half? I feel uh, happy also coming back. And then I feel a bit sad also, knowing that I'm not here. And then uh, sometimes I feel like, I don't know why all this happened, but it's okay. That's when I realized that I'm in Kanur, uh, very beautiful, Kerala, so it's okay. This is Luban and this is water made out of it. Is it like this? It's like this. But it's like Luban Pani Banani. All that. Oh, no. 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 No, I actually destroyed it one second. Yeah, now it looks beautiful. <laughs> what is this, Varun? People uh, from Poland, they don't know. This is uh, Rajma, uh, kidney beans with a coconut gravy. It's some traditional Omani dish. Ah, traditional Omani dish. <laughs> <what they're> <laughs> <laughs> and this is date uh, roti. I mean, they mixed the date in the dough and then they made it sweet. Very nice. Food is very nice. That's my food. <clears throat> Italian. Varun is fed up with well, Asian Ola, food. Ola didn't record in the beginning. She was trying to swap her flight. But before this, there was this aubergine, I don't know, roasted with garlic oil. Very good. I'm just saying that you are fed up with the Asian food. Oh yeah, yeah totally. You know, let's try something else. What? <laughs> For your darling. Let me go. <laughs> ah, bravo! I'll put it for you. <laughs> your legs is all fogged up. I know, and it's so nice. What? Just. <laughs> it's hard. Mm -hmm. What is this? I need a phone. 
What is it? This is translator. Translator? <laughs> Say something nice in Hindi and it, it will translate in Polish. It's okay. useful for layovers. Vasco. <laughs> oh, a touch screen. Okay. Yeah. You have Polish, but you can change. Hindi. Okay, Polish. And say something in Hindi. From Hindi. Hi yeah. And now. Okay. Okay. W what do you press this? Yes. But that's Polish. I have to speak in Hindi. <laughs> you have to change. I is samundar kinare dor lagane ata tha. <laughs> what did it say? It says like I was I used to come here and run. Uh what else can I say? Uh Main ab bahut jaldi wapis Oman aunga. Omanu? <laughs> it's Oman. <laughs> Ola bohot sundar hai or dil uska bohot acha hai. Ola is the bardzo pinkna i ma bardzo dobre serce. Pinkna do I know. Raste me ek moti bhes kari hai. Na droze sto i gruby bau. But why? उस भैंस ने बहुत सारा गोबर किया है। I don't know if it'll translate. Buffalo matujo hai I didn't get you. It did a lot of thing on the street. Moi drodzy, to urządzenie jest bardzo pomocne w sytuacjach, gdy na przykład jesteście na wakacjach i nie znacie języka. Warto dodać, że Vasco tłumaczy ponad 70 języków i posiada dożywotni wbudowany internet, który działa w prawie 200 krajach. Oprócz tego możecie przetłumaczyć też ulotki, składy z żywnością i wiele innych informacji za pomocą aparatu, który także jest częścią urządzenia. Z kodem życie stewardessy 5 będziecie mogli kupić je 5% taniej. This is the beach where I used to come for a run. It's called the Hyatt Beach or the Shati Beach or something. Shati? No, Shati is over there. You already forgot? Grand Hyatt is the hotel, yes. I used to call it the Hyatt Beach. You so, can show them around. We're trying to chill because <laughs> Varun came for holiday. Yeah, for five days. And I'm loving it. <laughs> but I was thinking, how are you going to react when you will reach this place? Kanu? No, when then? you will come to Muscat, I was thinking if you're gonna be so emotional. You were just at the airport, nah, you nah, remember? Okay. I thought it it will be much worse. I'm a grown man. I, I cannot cry. I will sing for you. Muje ko it na bataye koi kese tuje se dil na lagaye koi. Tomorrow I have Bangkok. I didn't manage to swap, so we have less time to spend. <laughs> yes! Is it? <laughs> wow! <laughs> no. So what you gonna do? I'm gonna catch the flight tomorrow. I thought I was gonna go on the 10th or 12th, but now that you're leaving, I'll go tomorrow. Well, it's fine. We will manage. Yeah. yeah. Drodzy, plany się zmieniły. Nie lecę jednak do Bangkoku, lecę gdzie indziej. Tak to bywa czasami w lotnictwie. Dostałam właśnie telefon, że będę operować inny lot. Zrobiłam swój makijaż w przeciągu 10 minut, więc myślę, jest całkiem dobrze. Tak to wygląda. Za chwilę schodzę, bo będzie czekał na mnie autobus i jadę do pracy. Nie ma to jak meldowanie o czwartej nad ranem. No ale tak to właśnie wygląda. Raz na rano, raz w nocy, raz po południu. Człowiek nie wie, czy iść spać, czy wstać, o której powinien, bo czasami noc jest dniem i na odwrót. Także życzcie mi powodzenia jak zwykle, bo te nocne loty bywają trochę męczące.
No ale 10 lat w lotnictwie robi też swoje. Także się przyzwyczaiłam. Rano, <śmiech> raniutko, a to nasz najpiękniejszy widok świata z mojego biura i nikt nie może powiedzieć, że ma lepsze widoki w pracy niż ja. że ta praca to jedna z najpiękniejszych prac na świecie. Niedługo będziemy lądować. Muszę przygotować kabinę do lądowania, więc wracam do pracy. Mam nadzieję, że ten odcinek Wam się podobał. I jak zwykle, do usłyszenia. Pa, pa!